They are, for want of a better phrase, four-legged mowers. So they're actually grazing the habitat for us, grazing the right conditions for species like Natterjack toad, who like a short sward, short grasslands. systems provide the perfect sort of habitat for this species because you have dune slacks which fill up with water, you have short sward, they can hibernate and they can breed. But we have five cattle on the on the on the on the dune systems and they've got their young and what they're doing is they're grazing the dunes. Getting rid of vegetation that we do not want like scrub and bramble, starting to create bare areas and everything which is really good for all sorts of species. And what you can see here on the ground, you can see where their hooves have been in, where they've uh, grazed some of the vegetation and they've hooved around and made bare, bare areas of sand in the dunes, which is really, really good. This is cow dung and how it helps. It helps to fertilize the ground. It also attracts different types of invertebrates for feed. And um, yeah, it's, it's a natural process. So it's the remains of grasses that we do not, no longer want on the on the dunes. It's telling me that the cows, there's five cows, uh, we're in, all next to each other and they're inside the fence, or the invisible fence should I say. the animals have collars around their necks and it produces different signals and alarms. With the app we can create um, pastures uh, electronically and the collars pick up that signal and maintain or hold the, the cattle within that area. If they try to escape from that area they'll get a slight musical note, a buzz will come out of the, the collar and that sort of trains them. If they misbehave completely they'll get a very small electric shock less than what you'd expect on a normal electric fence in a normal field and eventually what happens the animals learn this and they stay within that area to be honest with you it's uh, it was a, a bit of technology that i found was rather scared of but actually now we've got used to it it's really really good it um, gives us the autonomy to move the animals as and when we want to not just for conservation benefits so for example, we don't, we don't want to overgraze, we don't want to undergraze, we want to go in sensitively and do that. So we've got that as a tool, we've also got as a safety net. So on a high tide or extremely you know, dangerous conditions out here, we can move the animals to a safe, safe point um, just by moving your fingers around the app on the screen.